Hey, what's up everyone? This is Silver Slayer. Thanks for tuning in and welcome. If you are not stacking silver, you are in big, big trouble. I've covered so many articles, so much content that I've posted, giving so many reasons and literally giving you guys 100% proof why precious metals will be in the green for the next three to five years. I mean, I, I can't make it any more blatantly obvious why. This video is going to cover three different articles coming from three different perspectives, making three different points that are all bullish. First one is talking about why $50 silver could be or happen much sooner than expected. This pandemic has sped things up times 10. We knew that precious metals were a great investment that was profitable, but this pandemic had just made things happen a lot quicker. So we're going to see crazy prices a lot quicker than most people expect or than most people even want to happen, right? So anyway, the second article goes into the uh, the reason why silver is going to explode since Biden's president. Now, regardless of whether candidate A or candidate B won, gold and silver was going to come out on top. But now that we know who is president, which direction the economy is headed, now we can talk about what's going to happen from there. Third article is going more into the chart. The, the, the chart analytics and it's talking about how gold and silver will take off before the first quarter of 2021 so yes i've been very bullish these are not just these, these aren't just random accusations these aren't just random things that we're, that we're throwing out that we hope stick right these are real factual reasons with evidence guaranteeing that precious metals will be the most profitable investment it's so obvious, especially if you understand how our financial system works. If you understand the the rate that the economy is is, is headed downwards, if you understand um, the the reality of how broke we really are, the twenty seven trillion dollars in debt that America is in, if you understand how what's going to happen when we throw trillions of dollars into the system, meaning they have to reprint those dollar bills, hurting the dollar. If you understand how a hurt dollar affects gold and silver prices, then you'll know that we can guarantee precious metals will be out on top. So, I'm not going to go into all these the these you know thirty different reasons why. Those are my other videos. If you want to go check those out, the last two weeks, I've probably given at least 25, 30 different valid reasons, very, very obvious reasons why precious metals are going to explode in the next three to five years. And, and trust me, I'm not a silver pumper. I'm not going to mislead you. It's not going to be $100 tomorrow, not next week, not next year, but it's definitely on the come up and you got to be on your toes. You got to be on your A game because like I always say, if you want to talk about crazy silver prices, well, ladies and gentlemen, we're living in crazy times. So, first article is from the Lombardi letter. So, $50 silver could happen much sooner than expected. Mid-sale figures say silver price could go up a lot. Silver prices could go much higher. It looks like a silver price of $50 per ounce could arrive much sooner than anyone has expected. You have to look at the demand for the gray shiny metal, saying the very least, it's through the roof. But don't expect to hear much about it in the mainstream financial press. And yes, they're not going to talk about it because they don't want you investing into gold and silver. Gold and silver goes against the grain. It's a definitely a rebellious investment because you are taking your money out of the government, out, out of the, you know, the bank's hands, and you're, you're, you're taking control of your own wealth. When you transfer your money out of fiat and put it into precious metals, you have now taken complete control of your wealth. They don't like that. They want to control you. If you are in debt, you're a slave to the system. If you're investing in the stocks, things of that nature, then they basically own you. They have control of your wealth. They don't like that. Of course, they're going to say gold and silver is a bearish market. Of course... Um, they're going to, from from the news and the mainstream media, they're going to try to portray precious metals as a risky, bad investment. Of course they will. So want proof of the high demand for silver? Just look at the mints around the world. They've been selling silver like hotcakes. And that's actually just what I was talking about in my video earlier today. U.S. Mint, Canadian Mint, Perth Mint said sales are through the freaking roof. 83% higher than last year during the same time. This is going to be interesting how it plays out because we know there's a silver shortage. So a very high demand, almost 100% higher than last year, very high demand, 
but a definite shrinking supply. That's why you see these premiums on these Eagles. That's why you see these American Eagles that have premiums $20 above spot price when they should be sold at spot price. So anyways, that means so far in 2020, based on American Eagle silver coin sales at the U.S. Mint, demand for silver Eagles has been running 83% higher. Mind you, the year isn't even done yet. It would be shocking to see the U.S. Mint report a much higher silver sale figure by the end of the year. Look at other major mints too. They display a similar sentiment. Royal Canadian Mint, uh, before the second quarter of 2020, uh, volume amounted up to 7.2 million ounces, 67% in demand. Um, this is, this is and even the Perth Mint, 69% higher year on year. If you ignore silver, you could be making a big mistake. Dear reader, I know silver is not the hot these days. Investors are too interested in big technology stocks, and they don't want to look at much else. I can't stress this enough, though. Silver should not be ignored. At the moment, I see silver prices as being very low considering what's happening in the overall market, which is which is rightfully so. I hope they stay low right now so we can accumulate more silver. That's glass half full versus glass half empty. You can look at silver right now and say, oh, prices are down. Of course they are. It's a bad market. Or you can say, prices are down. That means I can get it for cheaper, and I know it's not going to stay this cheap, so I might as well buy it, and then after it goes up, I'll sell it. Here's the thing. If you own silver bullion and the silver price reached $50, your gains would be about 100%. As such, I think investors need to start paying attention to silver mining and exploration companies. They have, they've been severely ignored over the past few years. If silver prices make a run to the upside, silver miner stocks could surge, which is right. I, I, that makes sense. I, I get it. I focus more on the physical. If you can't hold it, you don't own it. So, you know, on this channel, I'm going to talk about the physical bullion. And by the way, those numbers they're talking about, that was all physical sale. So why buy silver now that Biden's president? This is going to be a good article because even before, right before the election, we're talking about regardless Precious metals will come out on top, but definitely need to take we, we, we need to pay attention to who wins because if Biden does win and this green energy revolution takes place, it's going to be extremely bullish for the demand side of silver since silver is used in these solar panels in these you know in the photovoltaic cells. So when people think of precious metals investing, usually an image of gold bars or coins comes to mind. However, this initial idea does not begin to scratch the surface of precious metals investing. And remember how we, how we were just reading this article about individual investors making these percents in demand crazy high? Well, not only just individuals po posting, you know, 83% gains year on year, but over the next three to five years, we also have these 5G towers, electric vehicles, solar panels. So that's big company. So we have individual investors flooding the market with, with silver demand but also big companies coming up that are also going to be putting money. So silver demand is going to be through the roof like we've never seen before, but there's a shortening supply. So we know where that's going to head. Low supply, high demand, shoots the price up. So this type of thinking overlooks the fact that many buy silver or other metals like platinum, palladium, and rhodium. Not every bullion investor buys silver because it's a smaller market and does not carry the same value as gold. So you might be wondering why buy silver now if gold is more precious. What is there to gain from investing in silver? For starters, it is important to know how the market works and why Biden's presidency spells a higher silver price in the near future. So they go off into, you know, oh, why silver? We're going to kind of skip over this. So small market, I can kind of, you know, I can kind of summarize this. Small market, which means it's more volatile, which means when prices go go in, when people buy it, it it's it, it's more, it's heavily affected compared to gold, which is a much bigger market. So um, they're talking about its commodity and um, it has inherent value, uh, how you can safely store your bullion. So why buy silver now? Look into the new U.S. presidency. Demand continues to grow faster for silver, which is why it's a good idea to invest in it. But you still may be asking, but why buy silver now? Knowing where the most demand for silver exists, you will see exactly why investing in silver now can be a great idea. So firstly, Joe Biden won the U.S presidential election as a major supporter of the Green New Deal, Biden's impact for silver price is inevitable. Silver is one of the best conductors of electricity and heat and one of the most light sensitive metals in the world. This makes it ideal for solar panels on top of its pre-existing use in batteries, purifying water and the fabrication of control rods in nuclear reactors. And on President Biden's campaign website, it is written 
We can lead America to become the world's clean energy superpower. We can export our clean energy technology across the globe and create high quality middle class jobs here at home. Getting to a 100% clean energy economy is not an obligation, it's an opportunity. So Biden's aggressive stance on climate change goes to show the U.S. will shift to greener technology on a national scale. Therefore, silver demand will climb if he holds up to his promise to fight against climate change. So that, that does come with a price, though, and that's definitely true. Just like stimulus, right? It's great that there's going to be trillions thrown to, to uh, make people or to, to feed people, to give people that comfort. But there's going to be a cost to pay because we don't have trillions to give out. So where's that money coming from? We're going to have to print more dollars, hurting the dollar. It's going to push precious metals higher. So investing in silver for a brighter future. In summary, silver is a physical asset with no real downside of owning. (laughs) You can sell it at any time. And there's strong hedge against for portfolios and helps protect your assets from inflation or crashes. So and its fundamentals will drive the price higher. It's it's basically a win-win situation. It's literally a win-win situation. It's a safe haven and an industrial metal. So that means whether the economy is in good or bad shape, silver is going to benefit. Gold is only a safe haven. When times are bad, gold flourishes. When times are good, though, people take their money out of gold and put it in back into stocks. But silver, since it's an industrial metal, even when the economy is good, when the, when the economy is thriving, all these things being built and transported, silver so intertwined because it's the most highly conductive metal for thermal conductivity and electricity and light sensitive, silver still being used up. So it's great. It's a great opportunity for silver. You really can't go wrong. So now they look at the charts. You can even watch this video. These three links, links will be in the description. Talking about the first quarter of 2021, silver could take off. So we don't have much time. This might be the last time we're looking at $25, $30 silver. I guarantee in five years, five, six years from now, you'll look back on these times wishing you can go back, take a time capsule, go back, and, and pay $25 for an ounce of silver because you definitely will not be paying that low of a price for silver then. And you don't want to be one of those people kicking yourself in the butt wishing that you did buy it at this price. So the waterfall gold price sell off followed in the heels of the media's Biden's uh, U.S. presidential win proclamation last week. Uh, this Democratic short term devaluation of gold coincided with Monday's Pfizer uh, vaccine headline. And that was a euphoric price because they heard there's a there's a cure 90 percent effective, but they didn't look at the numbers. They didn't really read the fine print. Now things went back, and, and the, the fine print means basically this. There's only 50 million doses. It's a preventative vaccine. Um, so it prevents it, not not really cures it, and it's going to be hard to distribute and who gets it, and especially 50 million is a very small, uh, a very small amount of doses. So, anyways, they 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 go more into the Biden stuff that we we're talking about, but the charts show this. They had they show the the, the candlesticks, the the triangle formations, the 200 daily moving average, uh, and where the support resistance level is, and it's basically t- uh, pointing towards this right here. What we're about to see. Basically, in short, time is running out as one of the final excellent bullion and precious metal entry points is upon us. So this could be one of your last chances to to get in before it's too late. Once this election mess gets settled, once things start to settle down next year, beginning of next year, the first quarter of 2021 is entirely underway. We will have to deal with the ongoing horror of our Main Street economy, viral crisis growing worsening by the day. No matter which party inherits the White House or gains control of the U.S. Senate, regardless of the appointees, they allow continuing, perhaps replaced with the further looting of U.S. Treasury. This apparent lets devalue our debt and shrink the promises not saved for a party has barely begun. Infinite quantitative easing, or also called QE, uh, stimulus, and even other lockdowns may be coming this winter in 2021. It appears not long before gold and silver values get manic in response. So, if you if you can read all this, right, all these different reasons, and you're still on the fence about precious metals, especially silver, then I don't know what to tell you. You probably shouldn't be investing because that means you're, you're way too hesitant. You're second guessing. You don't understand. You're not seeing the proof right before your eyes. So you shouldn't be investing anyways. It is so blatantly obvious that silver is a ticking time bomb. You got to step up now. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to wrap this video up. Like I said, the three links to these articles will be in the description. Watch all my videos I've been posting lately. The last two weeks, every single video I post is critical. It's vital to watch because it's all very important information. 
if you are investing. You cannot blindfully invest into the markets. You gotta know what's happening on a daily basis. You gotta get the inside scoop, and I will keep you guys in the loop every single day, two, three videos a day. So make sure you're new, make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for tuning in. This was Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.